this is really a treat for me. If you've seen any of the videos that I've done on I Love RV Life channel or on the website, uh, you'll uh, quickly observe that I am a huge history buff. Um, founding of the nation, Civil War, just really anything dealing with the United States and historical times. And uh, you'll see a lot of places that we've been from plantations to just many of the historical sites. And this is another one of those. Uh, this is one of my wish list items that we've been wanting to do for a long time. And we're at the Hermitage. Uh, this is Andrew Jackson's home. And uh, we've been walking up and I've been taking some pictures. Uh, I'll turn this so you can see it in the distance. <clears throat> there it is. We're standing on his guitar shaped drive. As a matter of fact, I'll turn the camera around here and you can actually see the gates in the distance. I will zoom in of where back in the 1800s uh, people actually would come in through those gates. And I'm just really excited. We're getting ready to go into the house. They're actually going to let us photograph into the house. I hope that I can video as well. I'll try to do my best. So uh, we have the tomb down here. We have a number of other things. I really don't know what to expect. Um, I've looked at the website, uh, but uh, we'll see. So uh, join me and we'll go and see what uh, the Hermitage has to offer today. Always full. Mats on the floor. Probably in the hallway. I hope not in the winter time but um, doors in every room um, sometimes three in a bed I don't know how that works this is an unusual treat that we're actually getting to walk out on the balcony. Uh, this is because we're doing some construction downstairs. This is the uh, this is a rare time that will even let us film, much less take pictures. We're on the second store balcony, and you can actually see the drive that came up from the 1800s, no longer used. A lot of construction going on. They're putting in a fire suppressant system, so. A bit of a treat to be able to do this. Kind of a rare occurrence. These are some of the bedrooms that we're able to take pictures of. Unfortunately, they're behind glass. But you can see the fireplaces. Here's another bedroom that you can see. There's actually four upstairs you can... I can't put this to scale, unfortunately. The beds are very small, maybe five feet in length. All very high off the floor, supposedly to get away from the cold. How about that? 1834, Andrew Jackson Jr. had the kitchen constructed as a detached building. This reduced the risk of fire and kept the heat of cooking out of the main house. The cook prepared everything in the fireplace. It was roasted on spits, boiled in kettles, or baked in Dutch ovens over coals on the hearth. The trap door you see under the table leads to a small pit cellar where root vegetables could be stored close up. These are the gardens outside the Hermitage. You can actually see the tomb. We'll get up closer to that in just a few minutes. We'll go down, there's a number of log cabins and things that we'll see what that's about. This is actually the back of the building, back of the hermitage itself. And it's February, so nothing's in bloom. It's the actual tomb here, Bender Jackson. Let's see if we can get closer. Point of interest, he was a Grand Master of Tennessee as a Mason. How about that? Mm, this one's cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on the stone here. I may not be able to make that out, it's quite dark. And the mausoleum actually looks off. You can barely make out the, the home back in the background. 
And as you go past the tomb, you also have a family plot here that dates back into the late 1800s. Back in the back, you'll see, well, if you can make this out or not, there's the Colonel, Andrew Jackson, the son, West Point grad. And his wife, Amy, buried next to him. Another son, Captain Samuel. Although you can't go inside, you can see down into the screen there on the bottom left-hand side. This is the old spring house, and there's a you can actually see a creek or spring that flows up up underneath it. It's a, a natural spring, and it's said that the temperature inside the building is a 58 degrees year-round. So, believe it or not, that's a early 1800 refrigerator. Amazing, huh? This is referred to as the first hermitage, and we'll walk down here. There's a there's a creek down there where they had their fresh water. <clears throat> this was built around 1800. So I'm going to spin around here, and you can see up on the hillside the hermitage that Andrew Jackson eventually moved to. But in his beginnings, it was quite humble, actually. A log cabin. There's actually two of them here. You can see the second one here. And uh, let's, I think we can actually go inside. Let's see what we have. So this would have actually been the home in 1804. Logs, but whitewashed on the inside to give them some bit of a look. And unfortunately no furnishings of that period. But you at least get an idea of the humble beginnings of pioneers during that period. We're finishing our tour. It's been quite interesting. You can actually see, I think, the hermitage back in the background, way off in the distance there, quite interesting. And then the old, old hermitage building from 1800, which is here where Andrew Jackson actually started as he uh, acquired this land and started the plantation. So, very interesting, a lot of history. Um, as I heard somebody say, History has a muddy past, and uh, there's a lot of that here as well. So um, without getting into the politics of the period or the president, it's been a nice piece of view and history of a president from that period. And if you're in Nashville, I hope you get a chance to come here and see this uh, very interesting property and very interesting piece of history from uh, the early 1800s. As always, this is Jerry, and I do love RV life.
Thank you.